i-answered questions na binigay ng mga friends and followers ko through Instagram. Few weeks back, um, magtanong ako sa kanila about questions they wanted to ask me. Basically, I said that I was doing um, a Q&A video about school, um, medtech life, college life, life in FEU, life in Manila, condo life, and all those things, basically about academics. And yeah, surprisingly, I got really interesting questions. I will be answering those later. At the same time, sinama ko rin pala yung mga questions that I have been asked through personal message ng mga friends ko. Basically, um, they're my friends from the lower batch, from different schools. Because recently, maraming mga nagtatanong about medtech, about my experience in FU. Yung iba, they're, they're asking about how to pick the right course for yourself. So yeah, I will be answering those then later on so I could share my answers with you. If you guys are interested to know my answers to their questions, just keep on watching. First question, paano mo po na-decide piliin yung medtech as your pre-med? Honestly, I don't know then. I grew up thinking that I wanted to be a doctor pero hindi ko siya na napag-isipan step by step. Parang I just focus on wanting to be a doctor and I kind of forgot to think about the preliminary steps to achieving that. Nakalimutan ko yung pagpili ng pre-med, basically. Nakapag-decide na lang ako on what I wanted around grade 9 na. That time, I wanted to take BS Psychology. I wanted to be a psychologist. And then again, Psychiatry. I wanted to be a psychiatrist. Um, when I reached senior high, sobrang na-enjoy ko yung bio. So, I wanted to take um, med bio for college. Hindi ko alam kung bakit all of a sudden I chose med tech. Siguro um na fascinated ako dun sa mga napanood ko about laboratory works and yung mga tests na ginagawa ng med tech. Honestly, hindi ko rin alam. I don't have a complete answer to this. Paano mo na decide? I don't have a complete answer to that kasi hindi ko rin alam honestly. But, what I do know is that I'm enjoying it naman so far. No regrets. Sometimes, I wonder what my life would be if I chose another pre-med. Like, kung nag-buy ako, since yun talaga yung pinaka-gustong-gusto ko before I went for medtech. But, yeah, so far, I'm doing great naman. So, I hope I answered your question. Stressful subject. So, I'm assuming na lang na your questions are for, ano, for college, my college experience so far. Currently, I'm an incoming second year student, medical technology student in FEU. And kung stressful subject, since dalawang semesters pa lang yung napapasukan ko, I would say siguro anafi, anatomy and physiology. Hindi ko ma-explain. It's like the balance between puro memorization and at the same time, puro analysis. There was a time na parang in one day, twice kami may anafi, lab and lec, and then isa lang yung prof namin doon. May, may quiz sa lab na 20 items, may quiz sa lec na 20 items din. And then yung isa, yung topic niya was nervous system, yung isa ang topic, ang topic niya was endocrine system. So basically, puro memorization lahat. And pag pinagsabay-sabay, nakakaram yung lessons, girl, mahirap. As in, advice for incoming na mga first year students, madaming tatanong sa akin. Hindi ko siya nasama dito, pero marami nagtatanong. Ano yung pwedeng aralin ahead of time? Ano yung pwedeng basabasahin habang nasa bahay? Excuse me. Ano yung pwede niyong basahin habang nasa bahay? I suggest you start with Anafi. Okay, para ngayon pa lang, um, memorize mo na. Pagdating ng exams, ng quizzes, memorize mo na yung muscles, yung bones, parts of the body, and everything. Para hindi na kayo mahirapan. This one's from a close friend of mine, so itindihin nyo na lang kung bakit ganun yung tanong niya. Um, she asked, nakasakay ka na po ba dun sa Dama Rao sa my Freedom Park? Okay, for non-FEU students na nanonood, basically... Okay, well, to answer your question, hindi pa ako nakakasakay. Hindi pa. May plan. <laughs> Nakuhan kasi namin yun before na pag may chance, gusto namin sumakay dun sa Tamaraw. Although, alam namin bawal, but... Yeah. Parang walang 
sense yung sinagot ko. Pero, ayun na. Hindi pa. Pero gusto ko. Top 5 school bag must-haves. So, number 1 for me is yung iPad. This iPad I'm using right now. Hindi siya mapahila. Kasi I'm using pinaka-top priority ko talaga is yung iPad. There are days before nung pumapasok ako na kapag kunyari um, vacant and then one subject lang and then vacant ulit after. Hindi na ako nagdala ng bag since nakakondo naman ako malapit dun sa university. Hindi na ako nagdala ng bag. I just bring my iPad. Kasi sa iPad ko nandun lahat ng files, ebooks, notes, games, whatsoever. So, pag tinatapad ako, wala na ako ibang dala yung iPad lang. Um, second must have, siguro ball pen. In college, hindi na siya kagaya ng high school na mayroon ka mga kaklase na tatlo yung pencil case sa bag. May iba, ibang kulay ng ball pen, iba't ibang klase ng ball pen. In college, tamad na tamad na yung mga tao and all we really bring is just one piece of ball pen. Minsan isang black, isang red. And that's it. So, if you're an incoming college student, I suggest na kalimutan mo na lahat, huwag lang yung ball pen mo. Kasi mahirap maghanap. Yung tipong nag-quiz ka na, lahat sila nagsasagot, tapos ikaw wala ka pa rin ball pen. Girl. Okay, number three, wallet of course. Lalo na if you will be studying in Manila, kung saan maraming temptations, aka food. Madaming bilian ng food. Ano pa ba? Alcohol, or wipes, or sanitizer. Kasi... Wala lang. Para hindi dugyot. Parang ang dumi-dumi lang kasi. If like, hindi ko ma-explain. Anything that you can use to clean your hands, even tissue will do. I think self-explanatory naman na why we need to have those sa mga bag natin. Para hindi tayo dugyot and para malinis tayo. Number four. As a medtech student, super important that we always bring our lab coat. Sometimes, um, kahit hindi in-announce ng prof na may lab, the next, the next meeting, biglang magkakaroon. And kahit, kahit sabihin mo na, sir, wala ka namang sinabi na kailangan mong dala. Understood na yun na kapag uh, may subject ka, especially majors, dapat tayo ka may lab coat. So, number four ko yun, yung lab coat. Super importante na. Mahirap maghanap ng lab coat. Although, pwede naman, possible naman maghanap. Pero, mahirap na. Mahirap pumasa kasi baka wala kang mahirap na. Last D, number five, school bag must have. Siguro water or tumbler, water jug. In college, importante that you always bring a water tumbler. Kahit yung ganto lang kaliit, yung kasha lang sa bag mo. Kasi, lalo na in FEU, marami namang mga water fountain. Per floor, meron kang mapupuntahan. Um, it comes in handy kasi minsan, alam mo yun, parang pag, pag mahaba yung class mo, sunod-sunod yung classes mo, wala kang tayo para tumawid ng campus, bibili sa ganto, pupunta sa ganyan because malilate ka and all that. So yeah, bring a water tumbler. Kasi yung small lang talaga na ganun. As in, parang ilang lagok lang siya. Pero, at least meron. Ayaw ko kasi nang magdala ng malalaki kasi nabibigatan ako. But, yeah, at least meron, di ba? Kesa wala. Was there ever a time when you wanted to quit? Um, ang goal ko talaga was to finish college, be a doctor and all that. So, yung quit na hindi na ako mag-aaral, no, there was never a time when I wanted to quit. But, when I wanted to shift to another course, sobrang dami. Lalo na nung first sem. So, basically, um, I grew up na lagi akong achiever, top student sa school, sa class, ganyan. Um, hindi ako sanay na makakuha ng mababang score. Ayoko nakakuha ng below average ng pasang awa or ng bagsak. Most importantly, ayoko ng ganun. So, basically, when I entered first sem, sa FEU as a medtech student, grabe yung culture shock. Kasi doon ko na-realize na ibang-iba pala yung high school sa college. It all piled up until I started getting low scores. And take note, this was a major subject, um, analytical, analytical chemistry, may chemistry pa na. Wala kami yung ano kami. Basta, first sem na chemistry, I forgot na kung anong subject yun. I got, sa quiz namin, I got a score of 2 out of 15 lang. So, basically, bagsak. Kalamihan sa amin, ang... Excuse me. Excuse me. So, it's no surprise naman kasi kalamihan sa amin, ang nakuwang score was around 2, 3, 4, 5. It's not like super nakaka... Nakakaiyak. Kasi marami naman kami nakakuha ng ganong score. But syempre, it still bothered me the fact na nakakuha ako ng, nakakakuha ako ng ganong 
kada lang score in college when I never really had anything lower than the passing grade way back high school and elementary school and all that. I said, sige, next session, babawi ako. Hindi ako nakabawi. Sabi ko, sige, next quiz, babawi na lang ulit ako. Hindi naman ako nakabawi. I was getting low scores sa dalawa out of three major subjects, anafi and chemistry. And at that time, parang hindi ko rin nagustuhan yung record ko na first sem pa lang, few weeks pa lang, I was already getting low scores. So, I wanted to shift talaga. I wanted to shift to another course. That time, I was thinking psychology or psychology, yun talaga iniisip ko, pwede kong lipat. There were many times when I wanted to shift, but not when I wanted to quit. Commute tips po sa university belt. Uh, I don't think I can answer this that much kasi I don't commute naman sa university belt. Nung nag-condo na ako, yung condo ko is walking distance lang around 2 minutes from the university. Oh, alam ko na, may kinomute ako nagko-commute ako when we go to Bambang pag bumibili kami ng medical supplies. So, if you're gonna ride the tricycle in the university belt, I suggest na ano, magtanong-tanong ka from higher ups or from other people na alam mong mas matagal nang nasa, nasa Manila before you. Magtanong ka na parang, uy, pag galing ako dito, papunta ako dito, sa tingin mo magkano? Kasi sometimes, yung mga tricycle, hindi ko naman nila lahat. But sometimes, yung mga tricycle driver na parang pag na-sense nilang um, hindi ka familiar dun sa place or alam nilang freshy ka, pagsasamantalahan ka nila and sisingilin ka nila ng sobrang mahal. So, magtanong-tanong kayo ng parang mga average na fair para hindi kayo mataga or hindi kayo maloko ng mga driver. Give some tips for incoming freshmen. You spend your time wisely, magbasa-basa ka na, mag-establish ka na ng study routine, even yung sleeping, sleeping cycle mo, ngayon pa lang ayusin mo na siya. Mag-ipon ka na ng maraming maraming tulog kasi you're really gonna need that once, once you step into college. Kahit online class pa yan, it will really drain you. Mag-advance reading, madaming madaming advance reading, read as much as you can. Make use of your resources. Pagtibayan nyo ngayon pa lang yung study habits nyo. Um, make a good foundation because you're really gonna need that. Mahirap yung um, sa college ka pa lang magsistart ng magandang study habit. Tapos parang ngayon chill-chill ka lang. Kasi iba yung culture shock when you reach college. And you're really gonna need as much preparation as you can do. So ngayon pa lang, be prepared. You try to watch um, YouTube vlogs. Sobrang dami nag-vlog if mag i ka for a certain university. Manood kayo ng mga ganun kasi super um, helpful nun. Use your time wisely. Hi ate, paano ka po nag-adjust sa dorm life? And number two, condo tips. It was difficult for me at first kasi um, ano ba, sanay ako ever since nung nag-aral ako, nauwian. Siguro it's, I could say na it's really important na you have a strong support system. Especially if you're moving far away from home. Ako naman, in my case, I was lucky kasi ang naging kakondo ko is yung dalawang best friend ko ever since preschool. As in, 7 years old pa lang kami na yung magkakasama. Tatlo kaming girls. And then, we have another one na friend naman ng isa ko pang best friend. Um, hindi na kami iba sa isa't isa kasi magkakakilala naman kami. And nakapag-coop kami with each other well, simula pa lang. And also, yung boyfriend ko, he lives in the same building as I do. Um, he has a different unit pero same building so basically, lagi kami magkakasama but I really had a good support system I was always surrounded with friends and they made my life easier so um, moving away from home, it did matter but it didn't make me lonely as much as I thought it would kasi I was always with friends na I went home every weekend pala yun. Bottom line lang is that I was really lucky with the circumstance and I'm really thankful for it. Mm. Condo tips. You budget your money wisely because if you're in Manila, madaming temptations. Uno sa lahat, napakaraming milk stores, napakaraming junk food like fries, takoyaki and everything. So, if you have a budget, you have to stick to it. But I still manage to watch my budget. I still try na parang, okay, for this week, dapat ganito lang yung magastos 
ko dapat for this week mga save ako ng ganito and it really helps kasi sometimes may mga unexpected na nangyayari that we need to spend ano po yung pinaka nakakatakot na na experience nyo so far sa FEU so first sem um, first year college lumipat ako ng Manila ng condo ko sa Manila around October mga second week ng October nag move in ako around first week ng November I had a really bad UTI to the point na parang namaga siya down there and I couldn't walk and basically in Manila all I had to do was walk I had to walk to the school had to walk back to condo pagbibili ng food I have to walk basically lahat ng galaw ko dapat lakad and at first parang binaliwala ko lang siya cause I thought it was just normal for girls so nagpaalam ko sa prof ko I said na there was an emergency it was a health emergency and I needed to bring myself to the hospital Um, I went to UST, inadmit ko yung sarili ko, and then, I wasn't admitted, but pumunta ko sa ER alone, tinas nila ako and all that, blood tests, urinalysis, and everything. Siguro parang dun lang nag-sink yan talaga sa akin na um, college student na ako. At the time, I was 19, and there are things that I needed to do alone. And it was my first time to bring myself to the hospital. Uh, usually kasama ko yung parents ko and it was really scary cause kahit alam ko na parang UTI lang siya and it's not something to be scared of naman at that time syempre parang it's just the experience of being alone in a hospital not having anyone with you for most of the time of my stay there parang ayun lang it's very memorable advice for the new baby Tamaraos enjoy nyo lang yung life nyo in FU um, mahirap siya Lalo na the first few weeks, the first few months, magulo, mahirap mag-adjust, the whole culture shock and everything. Pero, enjoy nyo lang siya. Because, masaya sa FEU. It's really fun in FEU. It's one thing I could say na of all the schools I've been to, kahit sa college ako pinaka nahirapan, pinaka na-enjoy ko rin ang FEU. So, you try as much as you can to enjoy college while you're still there. Um, meet new people. Huwag kayong magpastock lang in your own circle. Kung meron kayong friends from high school na kasama nyo in college, it's good that you already have a foundation for your friendship. Mer- meron ka ng kasama, meron ka ng um, friend, meron ka ng kakilala. But you don't just get stuck dun sa circle. No? You try to meet with other people. Kasi marami kang makikilalang mabubuting tao in college. Lalo na in FU. Maraming mababait sa FU. I could say that. Anong masasabi mo tungkol sa mga <coughs> netong recently lang, mayroong nabuong group of friends. Lima kami. Ako, yung boyfriend ko, um, isang guy, nakaklase na namin ng first sem, pero hindi namin super naging katulos before. Isa, and dalawang girl na ngayon lang namin naging classmates. Mayroon kami mga na-experience na parang um, hindi nakakatuwang experiences with a professor. So, syempre, we needed people na makikipag-negotiate and basically, sa klase namin, kami yung lima yun. I'm really thankful that I got to be close with these people. Syempre, except na lang yung boyfriend ko. You know. But, yung tatlong yun, I'm really thankful kasi parang least expected. Alam mo yun? Parang when you look at the class, sila yung parang pinaka ni ko in-expect na magiging friend namin. But, over time, we became friends, we became, we became close. Hi, kay Aizel, kay Erin, and kay Jean, if you're watching this, I miss you. How to loud it and blend it. This one, I haven't talked about this one yet. So, a little backstory, my boyfriend and I have been together since 11th grade. So, mag-3 years na kami this coming year. Um, Pareho kaming medtech student in FEU. Yes, magkaklase kami. Same kami ng condo building but not the same unit. The key to balance talaga for me personally is yung mutual understanding between the two of us na ang priority namin is mag aral We came all the way to Manila to study. Hindi para magwalwal, mag-inom, mag-date kung saan-saan or magpabaya sa studies. Doon galing yung parang patience naman for one another. For instance, kapag ako yung stressed, he becomes more patient with me. Kapag siya yung wala sa mood, siya yung stressed, I give the same kind of patience back. So, parang um, it's a give and take. Kasi, pareho namin naiintindihan. You have to have the same 
understanding with your partner. That that same kind of thinking, yung level of thinking yun na, I came all the way here para mag-aral, I did not come here para lang magwalwal or magpabaya and all that. With Kyle and I, we get to balance life, school, and bar relationship kasi pareho kami nang gustong mayari. We both want to study. That's the key to Laude and London. Paano po mag-excel sa school? I think people, some people would always assume na it's easy for me to excel in school dahil matalino ako. But the thing is, hindi ako matalino, masipag lang ako. Um, masipag lang akong mag-aral and I don't stop studying hanggat, hanggat nag-gets ko na yung isang lesson parang fully. Nag-excel ako kasi sinisipagan ko and I don't give up hindi yung porket hindi ko siya maintindihan, mawala na ako ng gana, ganyan. I try to find as much resources as I can. Um, YouTube, mga ebooks, tutorials, nagpapatulong ako sa ibang tao if there are things that I don't understand. Time management is important but it also needs determination, um, discipline, yung discipline mo sa sarili mo, importante din yun. Once you set your mind on a goal, you have to remember that all. Dapat, um, Focus ka on that goal and you become consistent. Must have mobile applications. For now, for college, I would say Google Drive. Important yun because that's where I keep my files. Um, for note taking, I use Good Notes. I'm planning to make a different, a separate video for this. Yung mga gamit ginagamit ko for school, my routine and everything. So hindi ko muna siya hindi discuss ng sobrang malalim. But yeah, I use good notes. Must have yun for me. For my iPad. For note taking and everything. Number 3, Canvas. Since FEU student ako, yun ang ginagamit namin, Canvas. So, excuse me. Excuse me. Gumagamit kami ng Canvas. So, it's a must have for me. There's Spotify. Importante yun sa akin because mahilig ako makinig ng music kapag ka nag YouTube. Because mahilig akong manood ng mga tutorials, yung mga discussions on YouTube. So, yeah, it's important for me. It's a must-have for me. Yun lang naman siguro for now. Siguro if may maisip ako, I would make another video on that. Yung una yung study routine ko and pangalawa yung things that I use from the iPad to the keyboard to the mobile applications. If vlog ko yun in the future. So, yeah, for now, yun pala mo. What study routine works well for you? Pag nag-aaral ako, I do like to take down notes. For instance, for today, ang kailangan kong aralin chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then sa kabilang subject, kailangan kong aralin chapter 5, 6, 7, 8. I write it down para mas madali kong maalala, mas madali kong matrack na. Oh, out of 10 chapters that I need to study, nakaka-5 na ako. Parang ganun. I set a goal for that day. And it's important for me to track down my progress. When it comes to studying itself, I give myself a little break. Kasi mas nakakapag-focus ako, mas na-refresh ako, hindi ako nabu-burn out, hindi ako nabu-board. But it takes discipline. Kasi before, the tendency was with me was that mag-phone ako, and then makakalipon ko na na nag-aaral pala ako hanggang sa maubos na lang yung time ko sa pag-phone. Um, I take little breaks. Sometimes I stretch. And yung food, important din siya sa akin. Lalo na for my study routine. I eat while I study. Sleep, I don't have much to say about sleep kasi I'm not a big fan of sleeping kapag ka meron pang ginagawa. I do love to sleep but only when I don't have anything left to do. But ayun nga, like I mentioned earlier, I'm planning to do another video. Basically, um, I will be talking about my study routine lang. Like the detailed talaga na study routine and also yung things that I use for school from yung mga laman ng phone ko, laman ng iPad ko, the keyboard, the airpods, the pencil, and all that. Even yung mga highlighters na ginagamit ko, I want to talk about that since I think it would be helpful. So, that's it. I think I've answered all your questions naman so far. I hope you guys did learn something from me today and I hope may napulot kayo sa mga pinagsasagot ko. It was fun. I had fun answering your questions and I'm very thankful dun sa mga nagtanong because they were really sensible. Hindi ako nahirapang sagutin and I did get to share a lot about college life and studying and all that. 
thank you guys for watching. Watch out for my next video. Bye! Thank you.